Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. How you doing, Kat? How'd your weekend go there? I'm here. I've done... I'm addicted to running at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that color run coming up. Yeah. And I just, uh, yeah, just been going like, oh, I want to, like, not come in last place. So... (laughs) And you got my message, too, that it's a loop. It's a mile-long yeah. loop or something. Mm-hmm, I guess mm-hmm. you start in the parking yeah, lot and they go around to the parking right, lot. Right, yeah. No, I was flying solo mm-hmm. last weekend. I, I, I made you there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was trying to be a good substitute. Yeah, did that go good? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. how'd that go? Yeah, I think okay. it went pretty smooth, yeah, all things sweet. considered. You right know? Yeah, 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 you left me plenty of material. Yeah, And, and yeah. you know, our, our guest, Scott, was great. And yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're I just had to make sure and send you the, yeah. Everybody didn't know I was down last week. My grandson was sick, so I had to stay home and didn't want to bring no germs down down here so mm-hmm. yeah we stayed away from the studio but yeah that's great good job good job i did mm-hmm. last minute sending stuff and everything like that to you mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so you did some running this weekend then, yeah huh? yeah yeah and then like some crafting and stuff getting ready for the fall carnival coming up for the kids on saturday and and it's going to be a fun time handing out pizza to kids and doing <laughs> doing oh, yeah. the carnival games and stuff so so that's going to be happening at the library over the weekend too and Oh, man, yeah. we got a busy weekend there's a, coming there's up. There's a lot of stuff happening. This is yes. just one of many things happening. And, Still in uh, September. I know, I know. Yeah, it's it's becoming a busy month as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Junior, we just hung out all weekend, too. We just had some fun and, you know, just did a group thing, took it easy in between events, which we'll be talking about in a little bit there because we're coming up to our last one. But, mm-hmm. yeah, we had the Bodicious Bazaar last weekend. So this weekend I just went, Bleh. you know, that's what I normally do in between the events and everything like mm-hmm. that. So that's what happens there. We didn't have too exciting weekend. Watch football. Oh. Missed my NASCAR. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I watched the football. So it was all fun. There you go. But that's about it right there. So I hope everybody out there got out and did something like i said we got a lot to be telling you about that we have coming up still going on into september and october i mean there's stuff going on so we'll be making sure to get it out to you and get out there and have some fun with us and uh yeah before we get going here because we got a special guest in the house here too before we get going i'd like to thank track city dispensary the oregon south coast fishermen otherwise known as the castaways just the jeweler and oregon coast vip marketing for sponsoring the insider report and if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. Well, speaking of a special guest, this one's really special to me, especially. Uh, yes, it's Chrissy Cooper and she's my insider event partner. We've doing all these events crazy together and uh, this is the first one we're actually teaming up. It's our last one, the Doctoberfest, and we're teaming up here this time because we want to make the announcement go out there and everything. and. Love this lady. She's awesome. We've been working together for three years now. And, uh, well, this year, very successful. Well, hello, Chrissy, my little sister. Hello, Bruce <laughs> and Miss Cat. Lovely, as always. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the studio. And let's talk to these people. Let's tell these people about our last event going on. Oh, here. my goodness. Yeah. So das- I, I don't Doctor think we've Fest. stopped running since Pirate Festival. <laughs> we went Pirate Festival, Wild Rivers Film Festival, and it just has just rolled and rolled and rolled. Last week, if you want to know what I did this weekend. Yeah, you went down there to I build this to, community <laughs> building thing. I we know. did the community build day yeah. at the park. We actually decided to host another one. So on the 30th, we'll be doing that. Oh, but. good. We'll talk about yeah. that. Well, then we talk, yeah. make sure we talk about that. So um, yeah. Doctoberfest. Mm-hmm. Doctoberfest. Doctoberfest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I don't know if you all have been following us on the Facebook or not, but we did get a Facebook up finally for um, Doctoberfest, which is our version of Oktoberfest. And if you understand the story behind Oktoberfest, it was a celebration of the princess marriage. It lasted a couple of weeks. Um, It actually officially kicked off on Friday night over in Germany. And um, it kind of runs through all the way to the first weekend in October. October. Which people so, are confused on. They don't yeah, realize like, why we're doing it. Why are you doing it on September 23rd, 24th? Because it's smack dab in the middle and it just made sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's the way we roll. It's the way we roll. <laughs> Plus, if you give Bruce two large events like right in a row, he just... I go, hey, man. <laughs> we break his squeaker or something. And the know. vendors look at us all funny like, hey, you guys, we have break in between here. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, um, this is our first year doing it. Um it's we got three breweries coming. We've got Checo Brew, Misty Mountain Brew, and Arch Rock Brewing coming down. And the hours are very important because people always ask. It's the number one 
frequently asked question is what time? So 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday, we will be rocking it. Um, During that day, you can come down and compete in the cornhole tournament. Uh, That's from 11 to 4. And then on the afternoon side of things, 4 to 8 p.m., we're going to be doing beer fest games, which is going to be a really popular thing, I think, for we don't have any beer drinkers around here, though. I don't. Think yeah, that. I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll it's definitely be, be doing the keg rolling, the keg tossing, oh, stein holding, and there's even some rumor about a running of the wiener dogs. Oh, oh really? Um, some dog <laughs> <dogs. laughs> oh, yeah, So uh, yeah. we we will be doing that because there's going to be a couple of booths down there raising some funds for South Coast Humane Society. So oh, cool. we might, you know, see a bunch of little dash hounds running around. Um, this is what she does to me all the time. She just slides stuff in, and I, I hear hey, about it like you all do sometimes. I'm like, going, I'm in charge of the vendors. Ask, she we, does the entertainment. <laughs> yeah. When the people ask, I go, okay. okay you know, yeah, so I, if we get three wiener dogs running around, yeah, great. Perfect. If we yeah, get 43, yeah. awesome. If we get 300, oh my gosh, I think there's a permit involved, which we don't have, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, we'll um, wrap up. Sunday will be kind of just a little bit more mellow. We really hope our party and all happens from four to eight because we don't have a lot of kids stuff planned. Well, yeah, it is an Oktoberfest. It is, everybody. It's all we about all, the it's, beer. Yeah, we it's did all, all the other ones, had kids yes, and all that stuff. But, but we yeah. do we do have some ordained ministers coming. And I, I'm one. <laughs> yeah, so you can come to Doctoberfest and you can get married. Yeah, and we're gonna have a chapel there. Yeah, uh, we're Wendy having. We'll be doing it, and, and Jamie, and, and Jamie. there'll be uh, Oktoberfest right. themed wedding cakes up for raffles. Right. It's gonna be. I actually know of two couples who are actually getting married at our Doctoberfest oh, no kidding. this uh, weekend. Well, I remember I did the pirate one. That's what I got ordained for a long time ago, so we could marry somebody at the pirate festival. It's perfect. So, yeah, we'll have all kinds of ministers. Lots of dirndles and lederhosen. I'm getting random people show, sending me pictures. I got mine. You got yours. I got mine. I am going to be set. I got my whole outfit I got ready. two yeah. uh, dirndles, but I had to order I had to order an underskirt because it just kind of... I knew that. Remember I said it yeah. could be in bear skin if it you're not be... careful. <laughs> I had to get a different undergarment situation yeah. going on and yeah. I added a little fabric to the yeah, back end because yeah. I may or may not be a larger size than I once was. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really right. excited. We've got a showcase of local musicians coming. So we've even got some people coming from the open mics jamming out for a couple of hours with us. I would have loved to have had like polka and some really great German Oompa music. band or something. Uh, if they, well, where are they at around here? You know, but we I were mean, kind yeah. of like going, ooh, you know, we didn't really know. And yeah, you kind of got to yeah. book those people out like a year in advance. So... I've got a lot of those people coming up to me saying we should have this, that, and the other. And I go, all right, write that down. <laughs> well, we can make a point of just letting them know next year we're going to go the whole nine yards. Yes. So everything you're used to, Oktoberfest, we will be doing it at ours. We just yep. kind of This like, is a pilot year. Yeah, this it's has a been pilot a pilot year for, year for us. us. Yeah, a couple of our events, yeah. Yeah, so it's been a really good. interesting learning experience mm-hmm. this year, trying mm-hmm. to go big or go home and, and really pushing the limits on. Okay. We, we've gotten a lot more, a lot more involvement that's positive. We're really enriching our community in a lot of ways. We have several theater groups involved with the Pirate Festival, yeah, yeah. and we've got more coming on for next year. So everything's just going to be yeah, kicked up a notch after yeah, this year. Yeah, I can't say that I'm upset with anything that didn't go exactly as planned. It went perfect. <laughs> so we want we got to wrap this up. We do this whole show on the Doctor Fest, oh but we gosh, just want to yes. wrap it up here. Again, it's the last Insider event going on uh, this year. Who knows what the heck we're going to do during the winter time? Because Chrissy will be going, "Hey Bruce, uh, somebody want," and it'll be like, "Okucking." There may or may not be a swa- <laughs> swashbuckler's ball in November. Yeah. <laughs> but we do. We officially do five events and one bodacious bazaar. So yeah. there you go, everybody. So all right. Well, thank right. you so much, Chrissy. Thank you darling, guys so much for board. having me. Yeah. And we'll see you. Fun, in your, yeah. We'll see you in your drendel here. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I got to go figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. Love see you there. long time. Because Doktoberfest. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's going to go crazy on the accents. All right, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, we just have some fun. Here. Bye. Well, you and uh, you and Chrissy could talk for hours about the oh, doctor. Man. I was like, man, like one of these days you should just have her in as a guest host and just let her go nuts. With yeah, you. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, exactly. No, no it's just, you know, yeah. uh, we just, it's just so exciting. I think about, we were blessed truly this year with all the events. The weather was beautiful. Everybody showed up. Mm-hmm. It was, every, like I said, can't complain about anything. There was nothing, I can't even think of anything that went funky, you know, yeah. at all that was worth even talking about. You know, it was mm-hmm. like everything was beautiful and but yeah, like we were saying, it's a it's a more adult themed one, you know, for sure. I mean, when we have our posters and everything got 
beer steins. <laughs> you know. <laughs> kind of gives a hint there. But, you know, one for the adults here, you know, and everything like mm, that. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And there's going to be some options for families with kids this weekend as Absolutely. well. So, oh, so yeah, you, uh, oh. there will be opportunities for fun. In fact, right we'll not. just get right into it right now. We'll start off with the music schedule, and then we'll take it from there. All right. <laughs> hey, we got Banjo Steve and Tiger Lily. Wow. wow. Playing uh, Wednesdays at the Latitude 42 from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And Cisco and Daltrey is playing on the 27th at the Checo Activity Center. Music running from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Uh, Tony Land Band will be playing on the 24th at Stage Light 70s Showcase at Checo Grange, 2.30 p.m. That's yeah. happening this weekend, yeah, Sunday. Busy, busy. Yeah, busy, Hey, Black GTO is playing on the 29th and 30th at the Elk Valley Casino. That's at 7.30 Disturbing the Peace will be playing on the 23rd at Checo Brewing at 6. Mm-hmm. And we have a couple other events going on at Elk Valley Casino, specifically at the Warriors Bar and Grill. Music there starts at 7.30. On the 22nd and the 23rd, it's going to be Steve Nelson. And again, on the 29th and 30th, it's going to be Black GTO. And then we've got Ranch Party playing here on the 24th at the Checo Grain. This will be at that uh, 70s Tribute Showcase, 2.30 p.m. they'll be playing. And Chris Capitano is playing Fridays at Zola's on the Water from 5.30 to 8.30. On Sundays, he's at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant with the Green Trees from 4 to 7. And then on Mondays, back at Zola's on the Water from 6 to 9. And then Steve Nelson on the 21st. You'll catch him at Schmidt's House of Jambalaya in Crescent City, 6 to 8. On the 22nd and 23rd, it'll be at Elk Valley Casino, 7.30 to 10.30. And on the 29th, the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 to 9. Mm, Steve's and, out again. He hasn't yeah. been out for a while. All yeah. right. And there's some music happening at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music there runs from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 23rd, it's going to be Lawn Goddard. And on the 29th, Snyder Music Night. Yeah. And I just want to make a little correction here on this uh, Stage Light 70s Showcase. They're giving everybody 2.30 p.m. I mean, there's two people at 2.30 p.m., and I don't think that can be happening. So the music is, I believe, starts at noon or whatever there. But, yeah, you'll have to check out their schedule. Go to Stage Lights Facebook page or whatever, and you'll be able to see what actual times these people are playing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And let's take a look at some events happening at the Checo Library in Brookings. On Friday, September 22nd, they're going to have their Fall Poetry Slam. This is going to happen in the Forest Room, that large meeting room. And it starts at 3.30, specifically sign-ups start at 3.30, and then the slam itself starts at 4. And if you sign up to perform a poem, all performers have a chance to win a door prize. Then we were talking about some kid-friendly events happening on this weekend. On Saturday, September 23rd, they're going to have their library fall carnival. This is going to be in the library's rear parking lot, going from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This year's carnival theme is Adventure Starts Here. You can indulge in some snacks, free pizza lunch for the first 150 people to show up. You can play classic carnival games run by storybook characters and win special prizes by signing up for a library card or making sure your account is up to date. And if you're curious about more events and services happening at the Checo Library, you can always follow them for updates on Facebook. You can check out their events calendar on checkolibrary.org. Or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. And then, hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from renowned writer Agatha Christie, born 915-1890. She says, crime is terribly revealing. Try and vary your methods as you will. Your tastes, your habits, your attitude of mind, and your soul is revealed by your actions. She says, any woman can fool a man if she wants to and if he's in love with her. Good advice is always certain to be ignored, but that's no reason not to give it. And last but not least, this one is great. I married an archaeologist because the older I grow, the more he appreciates me. (laughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Agatha Christie. Yes, indeedy, with Kevin Bruce. Until next week, hey, have a great one. I love that last one. (laughs) Always look on the right right. side of life. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Hey, the Checo Pelican players are going to be presenting Arsenic and Old Lace by Joseph Kesselring. This is going to be happening at the Checo Playhouse, that's 1240 Checo Avenue in Brookings, running from the 22nd of September through the 8th of October, three weekends, Friday and Saturday performances at 7.30 p.m., Sunday matinees at 2 p.m., and you can get tickets at checopp.booktix.com, or you can call 541-469-1857 to get some seats reserved. Tickets are $15 for adults, $7 for students. You're cordially invited to the home of Abby and Martha Brewster, 
for a lovely evening and a glass of elderberry wine. Whoa. <laughs> Come watch as Mortimer Brewster proposes to the girl next door, only to discover a dead body in his aunt's home. Sprinkle in a psychotic brother and a drunken plastic surgeon, and you're guaranteed a time you won't soon forget. That's right. Yeah, stay away from the elderberry wine with the old ladies, that's for sure. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and as we said at the beginning, talked about for quite a bit there, Insider Events is presenting the Doctoberfest of the Port of Brookings Harbor on the 23rd, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and on the 24th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and I just want to let you know we're celebrating Oktoberfest with vendors, live music, three local breweries, food, beer fest, games, cornhole, and more. And about the cornhole, Chrissy read the book, everything about cornhole you wanted to know but was afraid to ask. So she knows all the rules now about cornhole. She is a right. cornhole aficionado. Yeah. So <laughs> there we go. So there. we'll see you all out there this weekend. <laughs> all right. And the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting a karaoke night. That's going to be on Friday, the 22nd of September from 8 to midnight. You're invited to Lucky 7 Casinos Club 7 Sports Bar for a karaoke night. Join them and bring your friends for drink specials, belt and tunes, and fun, fun, fun. That's it, the karaoke. Yeah, hey, fourth annual Be Youth Paint Wars are going to be going on at the Brookings Nazarene on the 23rd. There's a youth thing right there, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. On Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 3, they will be hosting their fourth annual Paint Wars event for teens in grades 6 to 12. The cost is $15 per person. You can invite your friends and parents are welcome to join as well. This is a community event. Invite your friends or build an entire team. Students who register by September 19th, so that'll be, uh, yeah, after you hear this, it's probably you could probably still do it. They'll receive a t-shirt. You can see if they have more t-shirts left. Registration deadline is September 19th. For questions, contact Pastor Mindy at mindy at brookingsnaz.org. Gee, well, there yeah. you go. Whether yeah. you're you got tiny kids, teenagers, or no kids at all, there's something going on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's lovely. Hey, Stage Lights is presenting a Back to the 70s showcase. This is happening at the Grange in Harbor. It's going to be on the 24th. That's a Sunday. It says here that they open at 2 p.m. Okay, there you go. Yep. And then the music looks like it's going to start around 2.20 p.m. It's going to feature various bands and performers, including Robert Richter, Tony Land and Larry Fries, Greg Russell, Janessa Lee, Danny Zimmerman, Troy Alvarado, and Rin Lennon. Drawings will be held for fun and nostalgic items, too. Drawing tickets are a buck each, or you can do six for $5 or 12 for $10. That's right. So that answers that. So they start at 2, and everybody's just putting down 2.30 when they send it to me, but they're all playing <laughs> different yeah. times. It might be crazy if they all play at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, here's the one that Kat's going to be involved in. Monarch Gardens is presenting Jog Your Memory Color Run. This is going to be happening at Azalea Park in Brookings on the 30th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This fundraiser event is designed to raise awareness to Alzheimer's and raise donations for the National Alzheimer's Association to help fund research and finding a cure. There will be vendors, live music, beer garden, food, and more. Now, registration opens at 10. The color run starts at noon. As I said, that run goes from the parking lot about a mile loop that comes back ends up in the parking lot. So that's in case you're running how far the run is and what you're doing. And for more info on that, you can contact Sarah Dotson at 541-251-8010. She's a great person to deal with. We've had about our bodacious bazaars and our events, pushing the jog run and getting vendors and everything like that. Lovely. So she's really a mm -hmm. lovely person to deal with. She's all right. Good, good. Hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, Kat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know... The safety glass was created by a lab accident? It's true, and here's the story. Laminated glass can be found in car windshields, bank teller protective barriers, and various other places where shatterproof glass is a necessity. This type of safety glass was invented by Frenchman Edouard Benedictus, and Benedictus is probably more properly remembered for his art, but he also was a bookbinder, writer, composer, and more to do with this article, a chemist. Well, one fateful day in 1903, when working in his lab, Benedictus accidentally knocked a glass flask off his desk. Well, rather than the glass shattering, spreading tiny pieces of glass all over the floor, it simply broke, why more or less keeping its form. Upon further investigation, Benedictus found that it at one time contained plastic cellulose nitrate, which had dried in the flask and created a type of adhesive film coating the inside, which kept the glass from shattering in the normal fashion. 
Now, it's not known whether Benedictus immediately realized the potential of a discovery or whether he read about several automobile accidents where people were seriously injured due to their windshields shattering. Whatever the case might be, he eventually, Benedictus was inspired there by the experience with his flask to create a type of shatterproof glass. So this product literally is not cracked up what it's supposed to be. I hope you enjoyed this week's <laughs> bit of weird history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta see what I did there. Yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> it don't crack up. That's right. Oh, too late. All right. <laughs> hey, we've got a PSA here for Meals on Wheels. They're currently looking for volunteers, and they're specifically in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to homebound residents who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have both a Harbor Route and a Brookings Route. This is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face and deliver a hot meal and little kindness to local homebound folks. Whether you're interested in doing this for a day, a week, or just a month, all volunteers are welcome. You can contact Debbie if you're interested at 714-423-9797. That's right. And hey, Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America, scouting for new troop members they are. Boys and girls are invited. And we were just talking about another thing where kids can do there. There we go. And this is something to save a troop as well. Troop 32 is one of Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Formed prior to World War II, the troop produced its first Eagle Scout in 1947 and as of today has helped a total of 44 scouts attain this prestigious rank. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop. Founded in 2019 following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA. This allowed girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old and able to pass a background check and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. Now they meet at the scout hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Now, for phone numbers here, Troop 32 Scoutmasters Mark Haglin, 541 661 2749. And Troop 4032 Scoutmaster is Rebecca Wilson, 707 951 3647. I think this is very important. I hope that this message is getting out there and we're getting people to get in there and, and become scouts and everything because. I want it to be around for my grandson still a couple of years off. He's in third grade right now. But there is the Cub Scouts. And what they told me is if we get this thing rocking and rolling, then they could possibly start a Cub Scout, which yours truly would be involved in. I would volunteer in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. you know, to get on there and have, you know, be the den father, you know, and everything like that. Oh, so, yeah, yeah um, it's really important that we keep this going. I mean, it's been around and it's like when they came on board and talked to us, we had them on board here, you know, mm -hmm. putting the word out. They told us how serious it was about, you know, this could go under. I mean, imagine mm -hmm. our scouting thing going under. Yeah. I'm still kind of tripping on the uh, Girl Scouts thing, why we don't have a Girl Scouts there, of America. There is. I, uh, there is still one yeah. going on. Yeah. It's just yeah. that mm -hmm. we just combine it together there's here. The, yeah, there's a, no, there's a separate Girl Scouts of America It is. A, it's still its own thing it's going on. It's still its own thing, it, and okay. then there's Scouts of America. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they're just combining it out of convenience. It's easier than they're combining the two together here. Uh, no, it's, it's part of Scouts. Right. Like, uh, uh, but Girl Scouts is a separate entity. Right, right, yeah. right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Because I was wondering why they, we just didn't have a Girl Scouts of America. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah okay. they do. Yeah. And they have a troop here. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yeah, okay. they do their own separate thing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, they do have one. Oh, yeah. we have not Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, all they're right. still the Girl Scouts that sell the cookies and all oh. that stuff. Well, they must yeah. be doing all right because they haven't come on board and asked for our help yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. They, they've got their own groove going on. That's so. a good thing. Okay, now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, groovy. Yeah, see? All right. Yeah. The more you know. Yeah, well, I want my grandson to be involved in this stuff one yeah, way or another yeah, yeah so absolutely let's keep it going, people. yeah yeah <laughs> either way good group right. yeah hey the game nights are happening at the whimsical griffin weekly actually twice a week now and the whimsical griffin is located at 615 checo avenue by the redwood theater those are happening tuesdays and fridays in the evenings from 5 to 9 p.m 
features such games as Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and of course a litany of board games. Yeah, good stuff. And we got one for one more here. Uh, Brian Scott Gallery Monthly Artist is proud to present Brian Gibbons. Brian began drawing with pencil and ink pen at an early age, inspired by comic book and fantasy artists of the day. Brian also creates underwater paintings, ocean flora and fauna, and sea creatures, and wood mixed media pieces. He does a lot of stuff. Depicting neighborhood scenes from an era gone by. Brian's work is displayed on the ongoing basis at the gallery. For more information about the gallery, visit brianscottgallery.com or call 541-412-8687. And the gallery is open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we slide one more in here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's take a look here. Let's see. Fog and Fine Art Gallery. That's located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. This gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and as well as a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. They invite you to stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery, which is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information about their class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541 469-7900, or you can visit them on Facebook. They're at Wright's Custom Framing. Yeah, and here we go. (laughs) Safekeeping the Art of Val Pollyannon. During First Fridays to October 23rd, from 5 to 7.30 p.m., the public is invited to view the Art of Val Pollyannon. Pollyannon recently donated his collection of over 900 pieces of art to the city of Crescent City when he was no longer able to house the work himself. The collection demonstrates a wide range of artistic ability and includes painting, sculpture, assemblage, and more. Created from an array of materials and sizes ranging from 2 to 10 feet tall. The work on view was created between 1988 and 2023 and much of it was displayed in Pollyannon's art gallery and exhibited along U.S. Highway 101 until 2022. The temporary exhibit is located at 248th Street in Crescent City. For more about the artist, you can visit vpart.org, so vpart.org, and you will learn more about that. I mean, the guy had, like, I don't remember how many they said, how many pieces he had, like over 900 pieces. I'm going, wow. That's a ton. That's, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. We got to get out of here. We got the flying fickle finger of fate from the producer. So before we go, I want to give a shout out to support local businesses mm-hmm. to remember to please always shop local. Yes. Now it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, well, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And we are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there. Bam! Oh, yeah. We'll see you all down there after the Oktoberfest. Or yeah. the carnival for the little guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.